Well, born in interwoven, uh, I wanted to do a little reflection today uh, called Shine. Uh, I wanted to do it out in the garden because it's a beautiful day and the sun is shining in the sky. And I read these words from a psalm uh, a few weeks ago. It says, look up to him, your face will shine and you will never be ashamed. And those words, um, it was like they were written for me uh, when I read them. It's from Psalm 34, verse 5, and I'm not sure which translation, because they were quoted in a book someone had written. Um, and I've just been trying to kind of soak up and absorb those words, um, because they're just they're so amazing. Um, so those verses just encourage us, instruct us to look up to him, to Jesus, to look to Jesus. And when we look to Jesus, it says our faces will shine. Um, looking at Jesus causes us to look differently. Uh, and I've looked at the word shine in the Bible and the encouraging thing is that God shines on us first. So the blessing from uh, Numbers chapter 6, the blessing of Aaron and the priests, uh, has been used widely uh, recently. Uh, it's been put into song, uh, it's been done in British Sign Language, Makaton, it's been done so many different ways. Uh, and it's been a wonderful blessing to individuals and countries and across the world. Um, so it says on that, the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. That's about God's face shining on us. These are just amazing words. God had met with Moses face to face on the mountain. Um, and there was the Levites, the priests who interceded and facilitated uh, between God and the people. They were like the go-between. And there was this fear um, of seeing God's face uh, because it was thought that you would die. Uh, and in the book of Corinthians, um, it talks about how Moses uh, wore a veil over his face when he met uh, with the Israelites after he'd met with God so that the glory of God wouldn't be too much for them. And Paul writes these words. Now we who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory are being transformed into his likeness with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord who is spirit. It says there we reflect the Lord's glory and reflect can also be translated as contemplate. As we contemplate Jesus, we become like him. We are transformed to be like him. So it's true that we become what we behold. And just another couple of translations of that verse in the message, it says this, nothing between us and God. Our face is shining with the brightness of his face. So, and so we are transfigured much like the Messiah. Our lives gradually becoming brighter and more beautiful as God enters our lives and we become like him. That says about us becoming brighter and more beautiful. Uh, and another translation just says it like this. So all of us who have had that veil removed can see and reflect the Lord's glory. And the Lord who is the spirit makes us more and more like him as we are changed into his glorious image. So just as we, as God looks on us and as we look on him, uh, we are transformed and uh, we become more like Jesus. We shine, uh, as it says in uh, Philippians, it says shine like stars in the sky. Um, and those verses, just the Lord um, make his face shine upon you. Um, I just think about today, I wanted to do this in the sunshine. Uh, and what I've discovered is actually when the sun's shining on you, and you're using a computer, it's really hard to see anything. So just the brightness of the sun sometimes can eclipse uh, other things. Um, so the sun is shining in the sky. And as Take That said um, in their song, Shine, which you might want to listen to, hey, let me love you. Shine, shine all your light over me. So I'd say, let God love you today. Let God shine all his light over you. It might be you want to sit in the sun, soak it up, absorb it. Know that you are loved by God. Know that he shines his face on you. 
Uh, he wants you to encounter him face to face, like him shining on you. So today, let God shine on you. And then just in your life, just continue to look to Jesus. You will shine and you will reflect his glory. So I'll just finish with that uh, blessing uh, from Numbers again. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. Enjoy the sunshine. <laughs>